going to be tying today is a stimulator pattern. This is an attractor pattern. It's a deadly fly. It's one that should be in everybody's box. Uh, the stimulator is meant to replicate um, several bugs without one in particular. It could be a, a large caddis, it could be a stone fly, it could be a hopper. Um, the size varies depending upon what you're thinking. I'm su tying this on a size 10. Thinking of the film footage that I had in the beginning of this video. I use my film footage as a reference when I come home. I, I look at my film and uh, I sit down and I tie my patterns based upon what it is I see on my, uh, on my camera. It's a great technique to use uh, if you're not bringing home the sample itself. You know, it's fantastic to have the, the generic go-to uh, classic flies to match certain hatches, but there are times where your stream is going to vary from the next one over. Um, I'm finding that this ginger color is the appropriate color for my streams. I'm thinking of uh, I'm thinking of the stone flies that, that you've uh, seen in this footage, uh, golden stones. Uh, we don't have a very prolific hatch like they do out west with the salmon fly, which are very huge. But you know there are a lot of different varieties of, of stone fly in particular um, to to look at. So this is what I'm doing. I'm, I'm matching my, uh, my stone flies that I see here. Uh, and, and like I said, it's not a big hatch. Uh, stone flies tend to be uh, very clumsy flyers. They are good indicators as to the health of a river system. They like cold, clean water with a lot of oxygen meeting rocks and, and uh, turbulence. Um, a, a great way to know that there's stone flies on your stream if you don't see them are the uh, discarded uh, cases as they crawl out of the rivers. They usually uh, will crawl up onto rocks or onto the banks where they'll shed and you'll see these big shells. Uh, it's a great way to know that there are um, stone flies on your waters. This also could be uh, a replica for a late fall um, cinnamon caddis hatch. Uh, like I said, the, the beauty of this uh, uh, this sport is when you're tying, you have a lot of artistic license to to put your own like twists and turns into the flies and make them work. I see so many different kinds of flies right now and it's great because people are, are uh, using their their liberties to try and uh, translate into what it is they think the trout are going to be eating. This happens to be a great pattern. Um, it's Like I said, it's a great strike indicator if you're using a dropper system. Uh, so an awesome pattern to have in your box and, and not to mention uh, a great pattern on the stream. The, the footage in the beginning is from an afternoon um, uh, in the Sierra Mountains and the fly of the day was uh, this stimulator. Stimulator all day. Uh, it's the only fly that I was getting any luck on. I caught lots of fish. It was, uh, it was fantastic. So anyway, it's a great pattern. Uh, good luck with yours and thanks for watching.